Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Polish Mathematical Olympiad first round 2009. Problem number one. We wish to find all positive real numbers x and y satisfying the following equation. x to the power 2010 minus 1 times y to the power 2009 minus 1 equals x to the power 2009 minus 1 times y to the power 2010 minus 1. So here are my hints for this problem. First, what happens if x equals 1 or if y equals 1? Pretty easy to see what happens then. And for x, uh, which is not 1, and y, which is also not 1, we can divide by x to the power 2009 minus 1. And consider this function, which takes positive uh, real number, but not 1, and maps it to 2 takes t and maps it to t, t to the power 2010 minus 1 over t to the power 2009 minus 1. Show that this function has limit at t equals 1, so it is continuous, and show, crucially, that this function is injective. You may do it by differentiation, or you may show it without it. In fact, I will try to not to use differentiation. So give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. All right, so let's consider first case, case number one. Case number one. Well, if y equals one, then any x greater than zero satisfies our equation. Pretty easy to see that, because if y equals 1, this is 0, and this is 0. No problems there. Second case. Second case, which is analogous. If x equals 1, then any y satisfies our equation. Any y greater than 0. And finally, case number 3, the most interesting. Now, let's suppose that x is not 1, and y is also not 1. Then, then we can rewrite our equation in the following manner. x to the power 2010 minus 1 over x to the power 2009 minus 1 equals y to the power 2010 minus 1 over y to the power 2009 minus 1. All right. <clears throat> These two expressions are very similar, they differ just by the name of a variable, so it may be a good idea to consider function let f go from the set of numbers from 0 to 1 union 1 infinity, it takes number t and maps it to t to the power 2010 minus 1 over t to the power 2009 minus 1. Mm. First, let's see the following. I claim that the limit at t equals 1 exists, and to show that, notice that our function can be rewritten at the fo in the following way. Well, it is t minus 1, 1 plus t plus t squared, and so on, plus t to the power 2009, all over t minus 1, 1 plus t plus t squared, and so on, but this time just to 2008. So maybe to be clear, let's write right here two, last two terms like that. All right, and notice the following. t minus 1 cancels, and we can write our fraction in the following manner. So this cancels with that, and we can group our, our numerator into two groups, this group and that group. And notice that then we have 1 plus t plus t squared and so on, plus t to the power 2008 over 1 plus t plus t squared and so on, plus t to the power 2008. And separately, I will put 1 plus t plus t squared plus t to the power 2008, t to the power 2009. All right, 
And now the first expression, it is just one. And the second equation, expression, can be rewritten in the following way. It's one over one over t to the power 2009 plus one over t to the power 2008 and so on and so on. Finally, one over t squared and one over t. And you may say that this is quite a complicated, complicated way of writing it, and I will agree, but it has two advantages. Because now we see that, first of all, first of all, uh, notice that limit at, as t goes to 1 of f of t exists and is equal to, well, 2010 over 2009. I know it from uh, this form, because here we have uh, 2010 terms, and here we have 2009 terms, so it exists, right? But moreover, notice that uh, f going from 1 from 0 to infinity into the set of real numbers, well, what do I mean by, by f of 1? Well, by f of 1, it is by definition, I will define this number. And notice that this function is, is strictly decreasing. It is strictly decreasing. Mm. Increasing, sorry. Strictly increasing. It is strictly increasing. Uh, how do I know it? Mm, well, let's take a look at this expression. Notice that all of these functions, all of these functions, this, 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 and this, they are decreasing. Sum of decreasing functions is again decreasing. All right, but this function is obviously positive. So we have 1 over decreasing function. 1 over decreasing function is increasing function. And, and something increasing plus 1 is also strictly increasing, which justifies that this right here is strictly increasing. Uh, well, and since this is strictly increasing, a fortiori it is injective. So uh, this means... that f is, in, is injective. All right? But now, let's go back to this equation right here, which we have derived. And notice that this equation really says that f of x should be equal f of y. But notice that by injectivity, this means that x equals y. And of course, in this case, our equation is satisfied. So we have found another family of solutions. So we can now put everything together. So solutions. Solutions, we have three families of solutions. Either x is positive and y is 1. Or x is 1 and y is positive, or uh, x is positive and y equals x. And this closes our problem. We have found our family of solutions. And uh, that is it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've learned something new this time, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.